Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, why? Why are we all here? What's out there? And how does it all work? Well, you're certainly not alone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Big Why. I'm just as curious as you are about the universe and everything in it. From the depths of the ocean to the furthest reaches of space, no question is too big, no topic too strange for us. We'll crack open the mysteries of black holes, journey to the edge of the universe, and explore the mind-blowing discoveries that are changing our world. So if you're ready to unleash your inner scientist, ask the tough questions, and explore the universe alongside me, then buckle up, and let's ask why. It's a riddle that has puzzled philosophers, scientists, and curious minds for centuries. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? This seemingly simple question has sparked countless debates, leading us down a rabbit hole of causality, evolution, and the origins of life itself. In this video, we'll crack open this age-old conundrum, exploring the various perspectives and theories that have emerged over time. We'll delve into the biological, philosophical, and even theological implications of this perplexing question, seeking to unravel the mystery that has captivated humanity for generations. Whether you're a seasoned biologist, a deep thinker, or simply someone who enjoys a good brain teaser, this exploration promises to challenge your assumptions and spark a deeper curiosity about the origins of life and the interconnectedness of all things. And who knows, perhaps the next breakthrough in understanding evolution and the origins of species might be inspired by someone watching this video right now. The answer to this timeless riddle may lie not in ancient texts or scientific journals, but in the depths of your own creative thinking and inquisitive mind. The chicken or the egg dilemma, a classic causality puzzle, has perplexed minds for centuries. The question itself is deceptively simple. Which came first, the chicken or the egg. Yet, the answer is far from straightforward. The dilemma arises from the cyclical nature of the chicken-egg relationship. Every chicken hatches from an egg, and every chicken egg is laid by a chicken. The circularity creates a paradox, as it seems impossible to determine a definitive starting point. The phrase chicken and egg has transcended its literal meaning and become a metaphor for situations where the cause and effect are entangled, making it difficult to determine which event triggered the other. It can also represent scenarios of infinite regress, where the answer to one question leads to another, and another with no clear beginning in sight. The origins of this conundrum can be traced back to ancient Greece. Plutarch, a renowned philosopher and biographer, pondered this question in his essay, The Symposiacs, written in the first century CE. Since then, the chicken or the egg dilemma has continued to fascinate and challenge thinkers across various disciplines from biology to philosophy to theology. The chicken or the egg dilemma isn't just a modern brain teaser, it's a question with a rich history in philosophical and theological discourse. The question itself represents an ancient folk paradox that touches upon the fundamental problem of origins and the concept of a first cause. Aristotle, the renowned Greek philosopher, grappled with this dilemma in the 4th century BCE. He ultimately concluded that the chicken-egg sequence was an infinite regression, meaning that there was no true origin or starting point. Plutarch, writing centuries later, recognized the profound implications of this question, linking it to the broader philosophical inquiry of whether the world itself had a beginning. He understood that the chicken or the egg problem was not merely a trivial riddle, but a reflection of deeper questions about existence and causality. Macrobius, a Roman scholar in the 5th century CE, further emphasized the importance of the seemingly simple question, suggesting that its implications extended far beyond the barnyard. By the end of the 16th century, the question seemed to have found a resolution within the Christian worldview, based on the biblical account of creation. The story of Genesis, which describes God creating animals, allows for the existence of a first chicken that didn't emerge from an egg. However, the Enlightenment era brought a renewed wave of skepticism and questioning. Philosophers began to challenge traditional religious explanations, including the biblical account of creation. Carlo Daddi, an Italian scholar in the 17th century, even published a satirical work on the subject, highlighting the absurdity and futility of seeking a definitive answer to this age-old question. 
Whether the chicken or the egg dilemma has philosophical and theological roots, modern science, particularly evolutionary biology, offers compelling answers to this age-old question. If we consider the question in its broadest sense, referring to eggs in general, then the egg undoubtedly came first. The first amnio egg, a hard-shelled egg that could be laid on land, appeared about 312 million years ago. Chickens, on the other hand, are relatively recent arrivals, domesticated from red jungle fowl only about 8,000 years ago. But what if we focus specifically on chicken eggs? The answer remains the same. The egg came first. However, the explanation becomes more nuanced. Chickens evolved through a complex process of interbreeding and domestication of wild jungle fowl. The exact point at which this evolving organism definitively became a chicken is somewhat arbitrary. But regardless of the specific criteria we use to define a chicken, we can conclude that a bird nearly identical to the modern chicken, a proto-chicken, laid a fertilized egg containing the genetic mutations that would give rise to the first true chicken. These mutations could have occurred in the mother's ovum, the father's sperm, or the fertilized zygote itself. Some have argued that a specific protein found in modern chicken eggs, called OC17, might have the answer. This protein plays a crucial role in forming the hardened calcium carbonate shell of the egg. Since OC17 is produced by the hen, not the egg, the argument goes that the first bird to produce this protein would have laid the first true chicken egg, despite hatching from a non-reinforced egg. However, this argument has been challenged by the discovery of similar eggshell reinforcing proteins in other bird species, indicating that such proteins predate the emergence of chickens. Therefore, even with the presence of OC17, the egg still predates the chicken, as it was the egg that carried the genetic mutations necessary for the chicken to evolve. In conclusion, from an evolutionary perspective, the egg unequivocally predates the chicken. Whether we consider eggs in general or specifically chicken eggs, the egg represents the essential vessel for genetic changes and evolutionary processes that ultimately led to the emergence of the chicken as we know it today. We've delved into the depths of the timeless chicken or the egg dilemma, unraveling its ancient roots, exploring its philosophical implications, and examining the scientific evidence that sheds light on its resolution. We've journeyed through centuries of thought, from the musings of Aristotle to the modern understanding of evolutionary biology to the understanding of how the seemingly simple question has captivated minds across time and cultures. But the chicken or the egg dilemma is more than just a riddle. It's a testament to the interconnectedness of life, the power of evolution, and the endless mysteries that lie within the natural world. Whether you're convinced that the egg came first or remain intrigued by the paradoxical nature of this question, I hope this exploration has sparked your curiosity and inspired you to delve deeper into the fascinating world of science and philosophy. Remember, the pursuit of knowledge is a continuous journey and even the most seemingly simple questions can lead to profound insights about the universe and our place within it. So keep asking questions, keep seeking answers, and never lose your sense of wonder. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's The Big Why. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.